Welcome everyone to another special edition of the Guido Goes Off. As always, thank you folks for watching. A big thank you to all the new subscribers. And you, if you have yet to join the few but faithful, please hit that subscribe button. Ladies and gentlemen, we've been talking about this for quite some time. It is coming up this, um, a week from tomorrow. RCW presenting The Great Escape at the Oakley Lindsay Center. Um... You know, tickets still available. Uh, of course, you can go to oakleylindsaycenter.com. I'll provide a link in the description for this video. Uh, and we are joined live uh, via satellite from his palatial estate. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> the RCW wild card champion, the Rebel Assassin, Cage Cross. Cage, how are you doing today? I'm doing good, man. How about you? Better than I deserve, to be honest. I mean, like I said, we've got this huge, huge event going on. Um, you know, of course, I, I mean, I know a lot of people here on uh, on the on the wheel goes off are familiar with you, but for those that aren't, um, you know, let's uh, you know, give a little backstory. I mean, you've uh, you know, you've been working at RCW for quite some time. Uh, of course, uh, part of the uh, a, a former part of the White Trash Mafia, now striking out on your own. And uh, in the you know this December this um, December in Litchfield, uh, you came away with a huge triple threat match, um, winning the RC your first uh, title in RCW the uh, Wild Card Championship. Yeah, man, it was it was an amazing match between me, Zender Allen, and the former champ Pinky Beckham. At first, the way it was going. Xander Allen wasn't going to win a wild card championship, but I had just enough gas in the tank to hit Xander Allen with the Southern Comfort and get the one, two, three for my first RCW championship. And, and um, you know, also, uh, that was another big night because uh, I believe you proposed to your longtime, you proposed to your longtime girlfriend that night as well. Yes, I did. I'm, I'm glad she said yes, too. She did. She did. We, because that would have been awkward. Yeah, that would have been very awkward. Um, of course, for anyone that wants to see that, we have it here on the Guido Goes Off YouTube channel. Uh, if you want to go back uh, through here, uh, watch that. Watch all uh, the great matches we had in Litchfield. Very wild night in Litchfield. But I don't know if that's going to hold a candle to what we got going on uh, for the Great Escape. I mean, you know, we've got... This uh, that um, like we talked about with uh, Xander Allen and Allen and Elright, uh, that nine-way uh, cruiserweight ladder match. Uh, we've got a two out of three falls match. Um, winner comes away with both the RCW and the Honor and Legacy Tag Team Championships. Um, I believe we've got something going on for the vacant uh, U.S. Illinois Championship. More on that later. Of course, the Great Escape match itself. Um, you know, two teams of four. Um, the first team to completely escape the cage winning, but, uh, let's get to what, uh, you've been, um, you know, we've been talking, they've been talking about, uh, this, uh, casket match, um, between, uh, you know, with this, uh, culture war between the Honky Tonk Kid and Aleister Crow, hard rock, uh, you know, rock and roll versus metal. Well, it looks like, um, you have been added to this match, and it will now be four, the wild card championship. Um, now, as we said, um, those of you can go through uh, Facebook, you go through all these avenues. You can see that Alistair and on Honky Tonk have been uh, going back and forth. Um, but now you, that you've been added to this mi this mix, uh, what what are your thoughts uh, going into this? Um, your thoughts on the Honky Tonk Kid, Alistair Crow, um, and the fact that now that you're going to be defending in um, a casket match. The, that wild card championship. At first, it caught me off guard. Me defending a wild card championship in a casket match versus the honky tonk kid and some kid named Alistair Crow. But the fact is, I respect and honor the fact that I get the raps of the honky tonk kid in Quincy, Illinois. And then this little punk named Alistair Crow, if you don't know how to respect anybody in this business because he's all over social media 
talking smack on a honky talk kid, talking smack on me. At the end of the day, he just a little kid in the big man business. But I will guarantee with Uncle Shorty that the rebel assassin leading the charge for all the country folks out there down south that I will come out as a wild card champion no matter what it takes. I don't care if I get put through a table, you hit in the hand a dozen times with a chair, I will bleed if I have to to retain what belongs to me and everybody down south just to prove that southern guys deserve and will honor a championship here in the state of Illinois. I mean, and that's absolutely right. And that, and all that, I mean, could happen. I mean, it, it's a casket match. Pretty much anything goes, you know. It's uh, uh, whatever's uh, going to be put in, uh, whatever's, uh, you know, whatever's uh, representing uh, that individual uh, will be put in the casket. Um, but like I said, yeah, you know, you can, you, you can get beat with pretty much anything that isn't nailed down and it, it could be a very wild night for you it quits it could be a wild night for for all the fans it quits i mean like i said you know we've got all these huge matches we got a ladder match we've got um you know we've got this giant cage match you know i mean i'm even you know even talking about the uh dublin street fight i you know i'm not even sure what that entails oh no you everybody who's going to the show it's going to expect greatness, and we're going to deliver greatness. So if you guys love professional wrestling, I suggest you come to Quincy, Illinois, February 23rd. And also subscribe to your YouTube channel to listen in on the interviews that the wrestlers are also providing. That way you get to know who we are and stuff like that. I mean, yeah, it's, a, it's, it's great to be able to be part of this to, um, to help, uh, you know, share uh some great a uh, great promotion great professional wrestling uh with the world at large you know we do here believe it or not i do have a worldwide audience here on the guido goes off like i said always a big thank you to every subscriber everyone that views this um and of course thank you uh for for joining me here um so you know while we're uh talking about quincy i mean what i mean we're talking like a huge huge crowd in Quincy, Illinois. Quite, quite possibly uh, one of the largest crowds in RCW history. I mean, something everyone there don't want, you, you guys don't want to miss this. Um, I mean, what do you, I mean, you know, we were talking about, you know, how, you know, not only are you going to be in probably one of those dangerous types of matches in professional wrestling, but also the fact that it's going to be, you know, probably in front of one of the huge, biggest crowds in your career. I mean, do nerves play a role in that? What, nerves do play a role. I mean, if you don't have blood flies in your stomach before you go off for a match, your mindset's not in the match. You're out there to wow the crowd. When The first time I came to Quincy, Illinois last year was for the Wild Card Championship against Kenny White, and I was scared and nervous. But the crowd is so amazing. I love coming there. The people are awesome down there. You know, like I said, they sent me a baseball jersey. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, they've been. Uh, I believe it's a Quincy Hawks jersey. Um, uh, which you've been. That, I want. I want to wear the Quincy baseball jersey out there to show my appreciation to the city of Quincy and and give them one hell of a match. Yeah, exactly. Quincy has become a new home for RCW. Of course, you know it's my hometown. Um, but um, it's a. Uh, Kind of becoming a second home for you as well, like like this. Yeah, they they took me under the ring, under the wing. I'm sorry. That's right. They, being from being from the south, I didn't expect them to accept who I was. You know, with all of these uh different stuff that labels that people put me under. You know, I had people come up to me and ask if I was. If I was racist because I'm Southern, I'm not racist. All Southern people are not racist. We're out, like I said, I'm out there to represent the great company of RCW. I'm out there to get the fans what they want to see. 
during the match, if I have to fight in a crowd, I'm going to go fight in a crowd. Because like I said, I'm going to go out there, I'm going to wow everybody. And show them that the YCW champion has came to play. Exactly, and uh, like I said, you know, it's going to be a tall order, because I know, um, like I said, this uh, feud between uh, Aleister Crow and uh, the Honky Tonk Kid, you know, it's, I know you respect the Honky Tonk Kid, um, you know, he's been a mainstay in RCW, easily one of its most, most popular stars, um, but I know you're a competitor, and it's going to kick in. So, I mean, are you going to have a problem, you know, grabbing his guitar or and putting it in the casket? Because, like I said, it, at the end of the day, it's for your wild card championship, and I'm sure you're going to do everything and then some uh, to keep it. Oh, yeah, I would do anything and everything to keep it. Like I said, if I have to go through a table, get hit in the head with a chair, if I have to bleed everywhere, I will. But I will retain the wild card championship. And since they're using the guitars to put in the casket, I will either use my rebel flag or in spirit of the wild card championship match, I will use the belt as a token. If they put it in a the casket, they win. But like I said, that's not going to happen. Like I said, I respect the Honky Talk Kid for all that he's done for the professional wrestling business. He came out there after the proposal, he came out there and gave me a hug and congratulated me. You know, he's he's one of them guys I looked up to in this business. Again, and then sorry. Alistair Pro is just a disrespectful little kid. He he's playing with one of the best veterans and he's also going to verse a rebel who's not going to lay down for anybody. So he's going to have he's going to have to step up his game in order to win this match. And I don't think he has what it takes yet. He's got a long way to go in this business. He has yet to learn a golden rule, which is respect. Well, again. Um you know, of course, we mentioned mentioning Alistair Crow. I mean, we know. Um, I I did, of course, uh, at one point speak with the Marquis Vachon. Um, it's it's which I know that Alistair has kind of ingratiated himself uh, in the Marquis Vachon's graces, um, as he was teamed with uh, for, Foreign Solution member the Voodoo King and. Uh, yeah, I know you've had your uh, issues with the Foreign Solution in the past uh, as part of the White Trash Mafia. Um, are you prepared if Aleister Crow is truly in league with them and gets a little more backup? Well, see, I expect him to have Voodoo out there. And I also expect the Foreign Solution to get involved. But, like I said, I don't care if they get involved. They're going to have to literally win this title over my cold dead body. So he can bring everybody he wants to. But this Rebel will take out everybody no matter what it takes. So I do expect him to bring the Voodoo King out. Which yes, I've had my issues with the Voodoo King in the past. But he has yet to do one thing. He has yet to beat me. You know, and again, uh, you know, like uh, we're saying, you know, yeah, you, the odds might be stacked against you, but you know, clearly your fight, your 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 Southern pride and fighting spirit is well on display, and you are going to show that in Quincy on February twenty third, a week from tomorrow. Doors open at six. The show starts at seven. Uh, we've it, you know, like I said, we got we got a lot of stuff going on um, in regards to all of this. I mean, we've got. You know, we've got a couple of trivia night. We got a trivia night going on that I'm going to be hosting the night before um, at Q Town, one of uh, RCW's fine sponsors. Um, you know, 
So we've got a lot, you know, we've even got a kids trivia night going on, a kids trivia going on 3.30 at the Eagle's Nest, and that's right before this huge meet and greet, which I'm sure you're going to be a part of. We'll have the meet and greet um, at the conference room of Eagle's Nest. All the RCW champions will be there. Um, so, of course, you're all going to get the opportunity to meet Mr. Cross here. Uh, get your picture with him. Uh, get him to sign, get him to sign uh I believe, I mean, you're going to have some stuff for them to sign, you know, some stuff for them, right? Oh, yeah, I'll sign for them. I, I, I may even be, be even nicer and give out pictures to pretty kids. Because, like I said, we're a kids-friendly show. Yeah, exactly. We're um, very family-friendly. Um, you know, I, I, you know, the last time we, you guys were at Quincy, I, I saw, you know, I saw fans of every age. Uh, this is, this, uh, of course, a show for everyone and that's why we're asking everyone um you know so you know, sat you know saturday night oakley Center. it's going to be a huge crowd it's going to be a huge event like i said we've got all these incredible matches we've got going on um you know of course the casket match involving my guest for the rcw wild card championship cage cross the honky tonk kid and alistair crow and then um you know Still working out some details as far as I heard that the U.S. Illinois Championship, um, unfortunately vacated by Dirty Dick Brody, uh, will be um, will be put up in a match. Of course, the huge cruiserweight ladder match. Nine wrestlers involved in that. Of course, the Dublin Street Fight between the Irish Devil Douglas O'Shea and the Native Nightmare Jeremy Lightfoot. Of course, Brute Crew taking on Brian James and Mark Morgan. We're walking away with both the Honor and Legacy and RCW uh, Tag Team Championships. Two out of three falls, actually. So so that could be exciting. And, of course, our main event, the Great Escape Cage Match. Um, this 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 could be a very wild night in Quincy, so you probably feel right at home. Uh, this ain't going to be no could be wild night. This will be a wild night in Quincy, Illinois. All these fans are going to come back. When we come back into town, we're expecting over, I think, a thousand people. Thank we're you. shooting for two thousand, in my honest opinion. And like I said, ladies and gentlemen, this is a, um, you know, some of the finest indie professional wrestling out there. Um, it's this is going to be a card you don't want to miss. So please, don't miss it. Get your tickets now. Um, we have tickets. Tickets are available. For, um. Uh, if you go to oakleylindsaycenter.com, I will provide the link in the description so that you can go to their site or your tickets in advance. $15 in advance, 18 at the door. But I've been saying I would get your tickets now to make sure you have them because this this could sell out quickly. Get your tickets, folks. Exactly. It's gonna be it's gonna be a night you will never forget, ladies and gentlemen. As we were saying, one week from Saturday, February 23rd, you know, a little over a week, next Saturday. Um, you know, tickets available at oaklewindsaycenter.com. Tickets maybe, maybe will be available at the door. Of course, um, you know, like we said, we've got all these huge matches. Uh, you know, it's going to be it's going to be an extremely wild night in Quincy, and it's going to be something you don't want to miss. Uh, I, at this time, would like to take the opportunity to thank my guest, Cage Cross, uh, for joining me here on the Guido Goes Live, uh, getting some time with the few but faithful. Um, Cage, is there anything you want to uh, say before we close this out? Well, like I said, folks, come out and watch the show. We have incredible matches that's going to happen. A cage match, a straight fight, a ladder match, a two out of three falls match, and a casket match. For my wild card championship like you said earlier in the video that this this southern pride would never die down so i'm ready for february 23rd so you folks better be there and also take your time to subscribe to the great old Gold golf youtube channel because he put you put some great matches on your channel mm -hmm. it's they're all great shots i mean I'm subscribed to your channel, so and my fiance subscribed to your channel, so 
that's how much I appreciate you work as well as you do to post all the matches, the interviews, and so on and so forth. But I hope you have fun with your family trivia night. And I will see you guys Saturday morning in Prince, Illinois. I will be at the meet and greet and sign autographs and put my boots on and my gear, get some tobacco in my mouth, and be ready to walk out there and defend my wild card championship against one of the biggest crowds in Quincy's history, maybe even the state of Illinois' history, because we're the best damn company that's out there today. Exactly, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, of course, the meet and greet, that's going to be like at 5 o'clock, I believe. Uh, it's going to be an hour before the show at the Eagles' Nest, which is right across the street from the Oakley Lindsay Center. So, um, again, uh, you know, come see all the, uh, come, you know, come see uh, the RCW Wildcard Champion, Cage Cross. Uh, all the champions I know are going to be there. Um, you know, I myself will be there. We, we're probably going to be doing some live spots. We're going to be talking with fans, getting everybody hyped up for this. Um, again, local media. Uh, wanted to help out with this. You know, this is this is a big thing for Quincy, um, a big thing for RCW. Uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, please get your tickets now. Uh, Fifteen dollars if you go to OakleyLindsayCenter.com or to the OLC office. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, once again, uh, for Cage Cross, a big thank you uh, for joining us here on the Guido Goes Off. So, ladies and gentlemen, for Cage Cross, I am the Guido. And I think we're done here.